rush with the comeback, and Jerry Jones just might have his quarterback controversy. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. This is Undisputed. I'm Jen Hale alongside Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Shannon, maybe we should just both lay out and let Skip do his thing right now. I don't know. Man, that wasn't nothing. I got two things. <laughs> Number one, to our man, Lil Wayne, happy 40th birthday. Yep. To the youngest and wisest 40 year old I have ever known. <laughs> Happy birthday, nephew. Uh, many, 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 many more to come. It was great seeing you on Sunday night. You celebrated. The birthday was today, but he celebrated a little bit Sunday night, Skip. So you were leaving as I was coming up. Did so, you come? Yeah, yeah I did. I did. Well, wait, then one of us actually got up early and put I the got show up early. together. I got up early. Somebody what? actually cared was about Was I not here show. yesterday? Huh, interesting. Was I not here yesterday? And now, number two. <laughs> How about them cowboys? Really? I guess we're not dead yet, are we? Really? Like everybody wrote us off. You beat two and one. You beat the Giants. Oh, we beat the Giants. So you told me they're back, baby. That, Big, that nobody, Big that, blue is red that, hot. That, That's all that, I heard that, all that, week. Tell you, nobody tell you back. that. Back. Well, that should t that should tell you that team last night mm -hmm. beat Baker Mayfield. Mm. Mm. Let that sink in for just a second. Yeah. Let that sink in for just a second. They beat Baker Mayfield, and they hot garbage. I'm going to save my thoughts yeah. for Jen's question. <laughs> so, Jen, the floor is yours. You first, because I have a feeling Skip's going to unload on a scale of 1 to 10. How impressive was Cooper Rush last night? Uh, I gave him a 5. The uh, Cooper Rush wasn't the reason the Cowboys won this game. Um, their defense sacked Daniel Jones five times. They pressured him 27 of his 49 dropbacks. Skip, I don't, I'm not saying that. Daniel Jones is a world beater. I don't even know if he's really good. But it's hard to properly evaluate him that if every time he drops back to pass, he's having to run for his life. Evan Neal has been a very big disappointment. Skip, he was a top 10 pick. I think he was top 10. Yeah, he was a top 10 pick. And Skip, they were running around him. D-Law was running around him like D-Law from five years ago. Mm. Everybody was running around him mm. like, like it was 1999. It was an embarrassment how Daniel Jones dropped back and he's running for his life. Um... Also, Skip, when you run the ball like they ran it, the Cowboys ran the ball. That was as good as we've seen them run the ball in a very long time. You could go for 176, you average about six yards a carry. It's going to make it make the quarterback's job very, very easy. And then on the flip side, Rush, Rush was protected very well last night. He was only hit twice. Uh, Daniel Jones was hit 12 times. He was only pressured on six of his dropbacks. So when you have time to survey the field, you can run the ball like the Cowboys ran it, it is a recipe for success. The Giants aren't very good. You look at who they beat. Uh, they, they beat Baker Mayfield. Again, it tells you a lot about Baker Mayfield. And they beat the, uh, the Tennessee Titans. So for me, Skip, look, I, thought, I, I think he's doing what you ask a backup quarterback to do. Come in, steady the ship while the starters are starters out. Don't lose ground. And just keep us where we need to be. And I think he's done a great job of that. But, Baker, but Cooper Rush wasn't the reason why they won this game last night. That wasn't the reason. When Tony Pollard comes in, and oh, what did Tony Pollard? Tony Pollard had 13 rushes, a buck 05, eight yards of carry. Zeke had 15 for 73, uh, base, uh, uh, four and a half, 4 point nine a carry. Longer 27, Tony Pollard had a longer 46. So for me, Skip, it, it was a very simple formula. Just don't put the ball in harm's way. Uh, it was very close. I thought one call might have swayed a little bit. The call they called on um, Sterling Shepard. They called said he was a pass interference when he ran into Trayvon Diggs. I didn't necessarily agree with that call. Uh, five or thirteen on third down, which wasn't great. They had the one fourth down call, one fourth down conversion. But I gave him a five because I believe he's doing what he's, he's supposed to do against bad teams. Uh, and I don't think anybody. I think at the beginning of the year, if we say Cooper Rush was going to play and he would beat Cincinnati because we thought Cincinnati was going to be better than what they actually are. Now, they could turn that around, Skip, and then we look back at it like, man, Cooper Rush beat Cincinnati. Cincinnati, look what they turned out to be. But as of right now, Cincinnati still leaves a lot to be desired, and they could get their, get their, uh, catch their rhythm and take off here. But I wasn't overly impressed with last night. The Giants aren't very good. There's no, nobody watched that game last night and say, man, the Giants are about to take off. The Giants are a playoff caliber team. Nobody thought that last night watching that game play.
being played. Mm. Even you watched it, and you don't think the Giants are very good. You, you have been raving about the Giants' defense. It's much improved. Wink, Skip. Wink Martindale. Skip. But if you look at He's going to bring the heat. He's going to light up Cooper Rush. And he didn't, br he didn't bring any heat. Oh, he brought it all the freaking night yeah, long. Are no you heat. kidding me? Break no are you heat. Ca what game did you watch? Well, if he's bringing did you see extra rushers? I saw him almost uh, every play. Well, how about this here? If you bring uh. extra rushers and you can only hit the quarterback twice, uh. that lets you know just how bad your defense is. You're not watching. As usual, you're not watching. Okay. I have tried and tried and tried to tell you, but I'm not going to try anymore because it really doesn't matter because I am loving it that everybody's in a hush about Cooper Rush. Everybody is sleeping on Cooper Rush. Everybody's sleeping on him. He's a guy. Yeah. He's just another guy, says Shannon Sharp. And I need you to keep saying that he because now we have three samples of body of work. Wow. Cooper Rush is unspectacularly special. Special. Cooper Rush is operating that offense at a higher level than I've ever seen Dak Prescott operate. Stop it, Skip. Efficiently, effectively. I, I told you, he plays with, with a fearless poise and command of that offense. He's been in it for six years. He's 28 years of age. He's not some raw rookie thrown into the fire. And all I know is that Wink Martindale's goal, goal last night was to make him deer in headlights, light him up. And all night long, the big red rocket, he looked like bear in headlights to me because I got to tell you, Shannon Sharp, I know your game and I know what it feels like for those quarterbacks to have to stand in against free rushers on almost every play and get hit right in the mouth. He stood strong play after throw after play after throw. He made so many big plays getting smashed in the face. Skip, you only you, got hit twice? No, oh, stop it. He's, they're right in his face. I don't know if they count them as hits, but you got to no. throw through people all night long. All I know is he just kept on keeping on. Can you believe that Cooper Rush went through a whole game against a weak Martindale defense and never went down one time? That is yeah. spectacular right, right there. That That is a stat. And I do believe that Jerry Jones, to his credit, and he is the draft master I think he scored with Tyler Smith. And a lot of people, including me, were highly skeptical yeah. of that pick. And all I know is it just keeps on keeping on working. Yeah. And all I know is all of a sudden they put Jason Peters not in at left tackle. They put him guard. at left guard. And at age 40, he's a pretty good left guard. Right. And all of a sudden that left side of the line started mauling and balling. Well, left guard left guard might be a better position for well, him it is. because he doesn't have the foot speed to slide laterally. So you're in a confined space. So he might be better as a road grader inside. Okay. So all I know is I've watched Cooper Rush play three games now. And I've seen him up at Minnesota on Sunday night football go 24-40 for 325 and throw a late TD pass to win the game with 55 seconds left. And then against the defending AFC champs that almost won the Super Bowl, he goes 19-31 to for 235 and completes three late passes in the final minute that set up the walk-off field goal. So the point is, instead of 7-3, uh, to three, it's 3-3, it's three to three, right? Right. Okay, well, no, it would have been 10 to 3 at that point. He just cold dropped it. Yeah. Hit him right in the hands. He said he was th thinking about where he was going to turn up, but you can't turn up. You, you got to catch the yeah. ball first, as you know better than anybody living <laughs> right now. Okay, so those two plays are classic cowboy blunders that lead to a classic collapse and loss. And right away, early in the second half, the Giants just take the game over, and then Saquon escapes for 36 yards and a touchdown. The place goes bananas. Saquon is back. LeBron tweets that Saquon is back. And all of a sudden, it feels like the sky has fallen on my Dallas Cowboys. Except I still have Cooper Rush at the controls. And I emphasize the word controls because he does something I still can't believe. I woke up this morning. I said, did that really happen? He led them on a 75-yard drive in nine plays that was all Cooper Rush. And he comes right back after a New York Giants punt and leads them 89 in 11 for another touchdown and comes right back after a Cavante Turpin return. punt return and gets a field goal out of it. So Cooper Rush scores 17 straight unanswered points yep. that put the game away. Bam, 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 bam. Right. And 
it, it was beautiful to watch because the first one starts with a throw to guess who, Mr. Ball Dropper, C.D. Lamb. Then we go to 89 yards in 11 plays, and guess who takes this drive over? Mr. Lamb turns back into a lion. What got me about the throw was usually on a fade route throw, you put a whole lot of air underneath it and let him run to it. Cooper Rush stands up and throws it more on a line. Yeah. It, it was more of a rope throw yeah. because he wants CD to, he wants quickly to get the ball in CD's like area code. Well, the last thing you want to see after he's dropped a couple skip, the last thing you want CD to do is think about it. Yeah. So you want to try to get the ball up and down as quick as he possibly can and not like he did. Is no, there, there, ever, it, it, it didn't hang. It didn't hang. He threw it on a rope, yeah, and C.D. Throw. went with his – he's right-handed, obviously. He goes wrong hand, right. left hand, and right. just one hand snatches it while getting both feet down. And it was the play of the night, yes. and it, it seemed to take all – whatever air was left in the Giants, it took the air out of them. Right. You start to creep down, and so when he pulls up – now, hey, if he runs a double move, he runs a go, hey, the guy's going to hit him in the face. But you got to say, you know what? I believe they're going to run something – they're going to run to the sticks. I'm going to play the sticks. If they run past the sticks, they got me, Skip. Coach, they got me. Okay. I, I got you. But the point is, that throw is on the money. Yeah. And his throws all night were on the money. And I'm going to tell you that the degree of difficulty was fairly high because when I heard before the game that the franchise tagged tight end, you, you're pretty familiar with that Dalton position, mm -hmm. Dalton Schultz, is not able to play with a knee injury, and it never sounded good all week. And I thought Michael Gallup was going to take up some of the slack on the road against a red-hot, big blue Giants defense. Mm -hmm. Couldn't go yet. They said maybe next week against Washington, but they've been saying that for two weeks. That's why they should have just went ahead and put him on short turn in my heart. Okay. Yeah. But they did not. And, and again, I think they fear re-injury because it right. might be a little too quick off a complete ACL right. repair. Cause you, well, Skip, the thing is, you're rushing him back because you didn't put him on IR. You're like, okay, maybe the opening week, maybe the next week, maybe the next week, where if you just go ahead and take that first four games, you can let him come back at his pace, and then you'll feel comfortable say, you know what, I think he's ready to play. Okay. So all of a sudden, I'm looking up, and I'm realizing that Cooper Rush, the Dallas Cowboy backup quarterback, is having to throw – to a rookie tight end named Jake Ferguson, who did make first team all Big Ten out of Oh, Wisconsin. I like him. Yeah, I, I, like, I like him. And he can block too. And he's he's got he's one of those kids who just want he wants to fight. If you mm -hmm. want to fight, he'll fight. Yeah. And he's also throwing to somebody named Peyton Hendershot, who is undrafted a rookie out of Indiana, but he did make three straight all Big Ten teams. He didn't make first team, right, right. but he's a four-year starter from Indiana. And they like him because he can catch right. the football. Yeah, yeah. And he knows how to run routes. Right. And so all of a sudden, Cooper Rush is trusting him. What, what I'm loving about Cooper Rush is they all seem to respond to him. And, and I agree with you. That's the best they've run the football for a long time. But I like how they're all responding. All the pieces, all the cylinders are start to hit on all cylinders. Yeah. Let's not get it. Tom Brady's backups and backups are better than giant starting receivers. I don't know what's going on with Galladay. But Skip Galladay has been has been has been cheeks for like since he got there. He doesn't even and he's like, I should be playing. And you watch him the effort that he gave last night. Mm -hmm. Now the first pass they threw to him, he almost got it picked. He was half assing it from the jump. And then they throw him a ball. Well, and remember, then, he, he got to play two plays in the that last was, game that, against... That was too, too many. Mm -hmm. Given the effort that he's given us for... The, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Given the effort that he's given the Giants and the Giants fans and the amount of money that he's making, mm -hmm. he shouldn't be playing at all. I don't know why they're holding on to him. Mm. Just go ahead and release him. He's already got the money. You sound like an angry Giants no, fan. Skip, no, I, I'm angry because I hate when guys come out that I should be playing mm. and they give you the kind of effort. Cut the tape on. Watch the tape and you tell me Kenny Galladay should be starting or he should be playing more than what he is. Look at the effort when uh, 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 Trayvon Diggs almost picked it. You tell me that man is busting it. Mm. He didn't even get... First of all, Diggs is out of his. Diggs never gets out of a back pedal. All he's doing, all he's doing, is slow stepping back. And then the moment, because Galladay, I'm like, Galladay, you not, you don't run no go route like that. You got to make him think you're going deep. So he opened his hips, and then you drive back to the ball. Mm. And then uh, uh, J Daniel Jones hit him right in his chest, and he threw it right on the ground. I said, mm. man, that, that's embarrassing. Mm. That's embarrassing. He had that one good year in, the, uh, in Detroit, mm -hmm. parlayed that into a big contract. Mm. And has, has wet the bed ever since he's been in New York. Mm. 
You sound like a bitter Giants no, fan. No, 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 no. I'm not bitter. I mean, Giants win, lose, it doesn't matter to me. Mm. But I don't... It I don't, mattered I, last night. No, 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 Skip. I, I, I picked the Cowboys. Mm. But what the... You pro- always pick the Cowboys, so it, it's CYA, but go ahead. No, no, no. I, but I, I, the, what did I tell you? The defense. Because I know the Giants' offensive line has been pathetic. And like I said, I don't know if Daniel Jones is really good. I don't think he's good. But it's hard to properly evaluate him when every time he drops. Skip, the man got pressure 27 of his, uh, hold on. He got pressure 27 of his 37 dropbacks. How you going to be good? Mm. Imagine if Brady got, if Brady dropped back the pass 30 times, he got pressure on 20 of them. He got hit 12 of those 20 times. Okay, do you know how many, how many did you say? How many is it total? He got uh, he threw 37 pressure. pass. He got pressure 27 times. Okay. Well, uh, I'll bet you 18 of those times he ducked under the pressure and hurt yes. us with his legs because he can run. Yes. And finally, yeah. finally in the fourth quarter, we the Dallas Cowboys started to actually spy with Donovan Wilson because right. you you have to spy because our rush tends to be loop rush. Right. And and if you loop around, he's just finally saying, well, all I have to do is duck and step right. forward, and all of a sudden I see a lot of green. He got better legs than you think. Remember he took off on he Philly. That he took he, well, legs. He was running faster than he, okay. he could keep up with. But, but he has some athletic. Yeah, yeah, ability. oh yeah, yeah. Okay. He got he got better legs. Well, you see, he wouldn't have. He had nine carries for a seventy-nine. Yards. Okay. So that's pretty good. I'm not saying he's Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray, but he got better legs than what people think. Okay. So I've told you from the start, my team will go as far as Micah and the defense carries my team. And they were pretty good last night. I didn't think they were shut down good, but they were good enough to win this football game. Well, they got they got the pressure. I mean, um, uh, um, Demarcus DQ, Lawrence. DQ did a great job yeah. of disguising. They brought the blitz from one side, and then um, Daniel Jones he turned, and and Wilson hit him right in his chest. D Law did a great job. He did. He's like, hey, let me go against Evan Neal, and, and he he cooked him. He ate his lunch. He ate and his that, lunch. And that, but that's what you got to do, Skip. When you got a fish, you don't let him off. You take him to the market, you clean him, and you take him to the market. You make sure you deliver that fish. And that's what Evan Neal, a rookie, a rookie, he might get better, but he got baptized last night. And D-Law yeah. and those guys didn't let him off the hook, and right. that's what you got to do. And there is a Dorrance Armstrong, oh, he, and then you look up, and wait, there's an Odigizua and yeah. somebody else, and there's a Neville Gallimore, and that, they're pretty deep in I their front. Got a, I could have got a pressure okay. against that Giants offensive line. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. I could Skip, you know they're I, not I, any good. I believe my front's going to get pressure against everybody but they Skip, play. Not 27 times. Well, he had he's had issues <laughs> all year and since oh, dating yeah, in the last yeah, year. Yeah. It doesn't look like Brian Dayball, the new genius coach, has fixed those issues. Well, I think, Skip, that, that's a look. You can say all you want to, but at some point in time, you just got to have some pride and say, man, that, man, y'all just not finna whip my ass all day. Mm-hmm. I don't you know, like the Giants. The Giants old lineman got any pride. Mm-hmm. They're like, guy go by him and like, oh. Oh, well, hey, 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 Daniel. What? Mm. Daniel? Mm. How about blocking? Mm. Evan Neal, you're the, you're, you're the top, well, uh, a top 10 offensive lineman, and you let D-Law go around you like that? I know D, D, D-Law is a solid player, but he's not known as a pass rusher, especially at this stage of his career. Mm. And he look, hell, he look like Aaron Donald going around uh, 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 Evan Neal. Mm. All I know is... My defense in moments last night dominated when it had to dominate. And all I know is my run game showed you what happens when it goes thunder and lightning because the, the, Pollard's got lightning in his feet. Oh, yeah, he ran. Lightning. When he gets away, he can get away. So, in other words, you're telling me you love Cooper Rush. He'll start next year somewhere? Somebody going to come get him? Well, maybe in Dallas. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe maybe yeah. in Dallas. Hey, somebody going to come get him? Because uh-huh. that's what normally happens when backup mm-hmm. plays well. We saw with Jimmy Garoppolo. Yep. We saw with Nick Foles. Mm-hmm. We see uh, Jalen Hurts. I, I don't care about next year. I care about Sunday against Washington. Man, stop that's it. That's all I Did care Did you see about. that, Skip? They, they had two points until the last six minutes of the ball game. Stop. Mm. You know good and well the commanders aren't very good. Mm. Well, uh, we need to take care of business because then we got to go to the Rams and we got to go to guess who? Yeah. The Eagles. Okay, Cooper Rush beat the Rams. Mm-hmm. Cooper Rush beat the Eagles. Mm-hmm. I'm a believer. Mm. I'm a believer. Did we get that on. Yeah, tape? yeah, I'm a believer. You don't even know who the monkeys yeah, are. I do know who the monkeys are. Mm-hmm. All I know is last night was about Cooper Rush answering Saquon. He yeah. answered. The Giants. He answered. Well, it's the Giants. They were crazy. You, oh, you've been raving about their defense. I've been raving, Skip. He, did you see him pick them apart? You do You do realize, like, when you we say the Giants, go, that's a team, uh-huh. not just one side of the ball. Cooper uh-huh. Rush wins his first Fly. three career starts, regardless of who they're against.
The W and L's are the only thing that matter at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.